Military space forces, commercial space flights, weapons, and war brewing in outer space. This may sound like the script of a new space flick, but this is not science fiction. This is our reality. Space is becoming more and more critical to life on Earth. Humans rely on space-based technology for communication, transportation, navigation, and much more. As we become more reliant on space-based technology, the number of satellites in orbit grows. Within the next few years, there could be more than 65,000. But our ability to access these services may be threatened by new technology and a deteriorating international security environment, leading countries to see space as an appealing target for disruption or even violence. Growing dependency on satellites has spurred greater development and testing of anti-satellite, or ASAT, weaponry. ASAT testing has been going on for decades, but as the number of satellites, and humans, in orbit increases, collisions with resulting space debris become more likely and more dangerous. Debris as small as a paint fleck can significantly damage a satellite. The most recent Russian ASAT test created 1,500 pieces of tracked debris and forced astronauts on the International Space Station to take shelter in lifeboats while passing through potentially dangerous clouds. Although a capability for destructive space weapons already exists, few restrictions have been placed on their development and use. But this doesn't mean that outer space is the Wild West or the final frontier. Dr. Jessica West, senior researcher at Project Plowshares, has mapped current norms of behavior in outer space. Norms refer to standards of acceptable and expected behavior and are a necessary starting point for efforts to prevent an arms race in outer space. Jessica's research links the values and principles expressed in the Outer Space Treaty and other space governance agreements to themes of safety and sustainability. These values include environmental protection, free access to and use of space, as well as peace and security. Space is a resource we all share, and sustainability must be a priority to avoid harmful contamination of the environment. As the resource of space becomes more critical to life on Earth, its protection is tied to our own safety. As we create new norms for a way of life reliant on space-based technology, understanding current norms and values is critical. Jessica outlines several priorities as we move forward. Maintaining existing norms, understanding the limitations of existing governance measures so that we can continue to fill in legal gaps, adopting an inclusive approach to governance that nurtures like-mindedness and positive obligations among actors, and enhancing transparency. The intent of new technology in space is often unclear, making transparency critical. On July 15, 2020, Russia ejected a fast-moving object into orbit near one of its own satellites, without warning or explanation. Was this a test of a possible weapon system? The unusual event sparked considerable concern and debate. Building norms around trust and transparency through better communication and information sharing can help to avoid misunderstandings and reduce the risk of conflict escalation. Norms can be a powerful tool of governance but can be hard to monitor and crumble under changing circumstances. It is important to explore more concrete mechanisms of ensuring the peaceful uses of outer space, such as more formal arms control measures, while relying on norms as a foundation. Many organizations are working to develop these mechanisms, including the United Nations First Committee on Disarmament and International Security. The United Nations Institute for Disarmament Research supports research and analysis of space security, and the Secure World Foundation provides an annual assessment of counterspace capabilities, demonstrating just how quickly technological development is taking place. This May, Dr. Jessica West participated in the UN Open-Ended Working Group on Space Threats, and she is currently researching how approaches to arms control here on Earth could be applicable in space. But Project Plowshares, working in cooperation with other civil society organizations, is doing important work to understand all aspects of space security, helping to ensure that outer space remains available for peaceful use by all humankind.